Happy uh, 2024, uh, day one. Uh, how about a little bit of juggling every day this year? 365 days of juggling. Day one means one ball. We'll start off juggling with just one ball. We don't want to overcomplicate it. We're just going to throw it up and catch it. Now, if you want to learn how to juggle, what you're going to do is have your hand down by about your waist, elbow right here. You're not moving your arm up like this. You're not throwing up and then reaching up to catch it. You're going to throw it from about your waist up to about your forehead. Let it go up. Let it come down. Catch it in your hand. Up, down. Watch what you're, watch what you're doing. So watch the ball go up and watch down. You can't catch what you can't see. So you want to throw it up, catch it right there. Throw it up, catch it right there. If you're right dominant, you can use your right hand. Now, don't get in the habit of putting your hands here because that juggling is all about creating time and space. So spread your hands out about shoulder width length and they're gonna end up being down here. This is gonna create a lot of space here, give us a little time to manipulate whatever it is we're learning to juggle. Right now, we're just doing one ball, and all we wanna do is throw it straight up and catch it. Now, we don't want it to go out that way or back this way. We want it straight up. It's kinda of like your hands are in a glass window. If there's a pane of glass right here, your hands stay in that plane, and the objects you're throwing travel in the plane. So if I was going from this side, if I was going from my left hand to my right, it would travel like this. You do not want the ball going out that way or back this way. So I'll take the one ball from here. Use mostly your wrist, you can use your arm. It's a relaxing sport, so just relax and do what's comfortable for you. But for the most part, you wanna minimize the amount of movement your hand's doing right here. So you're throwing up and catch, up and catch, up and catch. And the reason again is because we're creating space and time. Have your balls in this glass plane, like a sheet of glass right in front of you. If you're a mime, you're doing this kind of stuff and you're going, ah, this is where this is where the action's happening. Not here and here, not here and here, but it's all happening right here. So you're taking that ball and throwing it up and catching it. And you're learning just to throw it straight up and catch it. Now you've got to do it in both hands. So what you want to do, never move it right here. This creates a bad habit we'll talk about later. If you're moving from one hand to the other, we want the ball to travel up to your forehead and then back down to the other hand. Remember, you don't want your hands in here, you don't want them out like this. You kind of want them about where your shoulder, where your arms are uh, perpendicular to your, your body out like this. And you're gonna throw it up to your forehead and it's gonna come down and land in that other hand. It's okay to watch it, because you can't catch what you can't see. So watch the ball land in your hand. Now, take that ball, throw it up, catch it. Watch it go up, catch it. Watch it go up, catch it. Your arm's not moving a whole lot. You're not traveling with the ball. You're not reaching up for the ball. You're letting gravity bring the ball back down to you. It's a non-dominant hand. You might find it wiggling around. You might go out here and back here. You want to practice getting it in that plane, going straight up and straight down. Maybe you do it 10 times and then call it a break. You know, throw it up, throw it down, watch the ball. You want to move back to the other hand? It's that upside down U. Throw it up to your forehead and comes down here up to your forehead and comes down here. That's a good one to practice too. Just go back and forth between the two hands. So getting this down, up and down, trying for consistency. You want consistency and you can watch what you're doing. You can't catch what you can't see. All right, um, we'll talk about balls in a different video about how to get them. If you wanna start off with something easy that you probably have around the house or near the nearby park, get some tennis balls and I'll talk to you about um, Start collecting pennies. You're going to want three tennis balls and 36 pennies, and we'll come back to that later. Again, up, over, up. This wasn't supposed to turn into a um, lesson on juggling, but that's kind of what it did. If you want to follow along, this is how you're going to learn. Now, getting back to just one ball juggling, what can you do? You can do some fun stuff like this. Maybe go over the back, catch it like that and drop it. Gravity.